Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for a Tuesday, November 22nd, 2022. So yesterday, well, turned out to be probably not that terribly unexpected to see a lot of light volume. Um, this is a typical holiday market. Um, we can range around quite a bit. We can get surges of buying and then selling a lot of head fakes, whipsaws in the morning based on news reports. So um, probably wasn't a big surprise that yesterday was relatively boring. Today's going to have a little bit more activity in it, but what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. You know, this week is going to be um, one of those really odd weeks um, of light volume likely. Going to have surges of activity here and there. Um, let me um, chat just a moment, moment here about that and give you a, um, an idea of my plans here and not that that should make any difference about your plans but tomorrow um, I'll do a morning prep video but after that I'm not going to be around much at all for the day because volumes are likely to decline very quickly after the morning flurry of economic reports. Um, everyone will be heading out for their holiday plans. And then, of course, Friday there will, or Thursday, there will be no um, morning market prep. And Friday, there will also be no morning market prep. I'm going to be enjoying my time with the family and not. Um, trying to trade um, a low volume choppy market condition. Um, so with that in mind, let's take a look at these indexes and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. First off, I want to give this up to the bulls, particularly into the in the Dow. We are seeing a pretty good hold here in this chart, holding on to some price support. We're stuck in a in a pretty wide range, which makes for a, a bit of a dangerous uh, position in here. But breaking above that downtrend, holding this consolidation, I think is bullish. Um, we'll have to wait and see whether or not we can, you know, garner enough energy to move up. And I know there's a tremendous amount of conversation out there from institutions and things like that saying, oh, holiday rally, we're going to get a, you know, Santa Claus rally this year. And, and maybe we do. Um, but at the same time, they've told us a lot of things this year that just didn't play out to be true. So let's be a little bit careful how we race into um, the market. And let's realize we have a very substantial resistance level here in the chart on the Dow, keeping in mind that we've likely got a relatively substantial recession um, on the way next year. Challenges to our economy, um, more interest rate increases on the way. And um, just realizing that if we are going to see some bullishness, make the institution show you that bullishness before you just race in with the idea that we have to be because of um, the Santa Claus rally. I can tell you in the 30 years I've traded, there have been years or most years, probably eight out of 10, where we did get a Santa Claus rally. But that means there are those years that we didn't get one. And that possibility certainly could play out here in this year. So be careful just chasing or rushing right in, remembering the issues that we're up against here on our economy. Now, if we take a look at our um, um, support support levels in the chart. As I was mentioning, we've got support down in here if those bulls um, um, you know, start fading a little bit and the bears start to take over, that's our support level. Now the problem with this is that is a very large point move that could be pretty damaging um, if you jump in long. Now the upside here is if we, those bulls can get inspired, we'll notice that we can rally right back into this major resistance zone in the chart. So um, you can probably expect a flurry of activity this morning with a bunch of retail earnings reports and 
uh, things happening here this morning. But uh, just keep in mind, volumes are likely to drop off pretty quickly um, um, in the for the rest of the day, and we could end up in a, another choppy session. If we look at our spy, SPY didn't didn't have much to say yesterday. We just kind of chopped around, little teeny tiny spinning top doji. But the difference here on the spy is that it was a little bit closer to the bottom of the range um, where the Dow was trying to push around to the top of the range. Notice we've got a pretty good level of price support in there. So if those bears are inspired, I would look for that price support as, um, as my line in the sand where they can um, hold or fail. And if those bulls are inspired, well, let's just keep in mind, we have a pretty good resistance level up here in that chart. And what you might notice is we have this little bit of a um, pennant type pattern forming in here, which means kind of anything is possible on a low volume uh, market. Um, just be careful of boredom. Um, it's really easy to over trade a market that is full of boredom. Um, now we do have this potential trend in this trade and we do have kind of a trend up through here. So I'm not sh exactly sure which one uh, could hold on in that chart. We may have that inspiration to fly or fall and I just don't know. If we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ was the weakest of the indexes yesterday. And as you can see um, right in here, we're st we struggled along this price support yesterday, um, didn't break down, held in here, but obviously closer to the bottom of this chop range in the QQQ. And we continue to show that lower high in here, a little bit of pressure um, on the NASDAQ. So let's watch that carefully. If the QQQ were to drop in below here, I would expect that may have some have some um, ramifications in dragging um, the diamonds uh, possibly lower as well. So watch that closely. Of course, if those bulls can find inspiration, well, maybe we pop right back up into this area uh, of price resistance or maybe even higher up in here. But we do have some pressure points in there to be paying attention to. And then last but not least, um, IWM. IWM also a little bit closer to the bottom of that range as you can see here yesterday. Um, again, we had that bit of a um, uh, falling pattern here just a little bit. We've give, given up this little price support area here in the chart. If this were, if the bears find some inspiration and we push on down from here today, watch this level for support. And once again, if those bulls find inspiration, we might look for maybe an intermediary resistance area right in here and then the upside resistance area up in this area. Um, that's fairly significant. So keep a close eye on those. Now, if we take a look at our VIX, you would think that nothing happened at all yesterday. There was no fear in the market whatsoever. VIX fell like crazy. As a matter of fact, what I think we might be seeing here in the VIX is a bit of complacency um, in the market. Now, we've got a good downtrend. We've got nice price resistance above. So if those bears find some inspiration, we can look for these levels up in here to hold as resistance. But we just have this continuous drip to the downside on the VIX, even though there's still a lot of fears and pressure points out there in the market, and not just here in the United States, but around the world. So kind of keep that in mind. This may be a little bit of complacency building into a market, considering that the Fed is going to continue raising rates. We've got uh, pandemic issues um, creeping back up over in China, and we certainly have a lot of recession fears over there in Europe. Let's take a look at our uh, T2122. Now our T2122 uh, pulled back just a little bit yesterday. We uh, uh, Early in the market, we pops, and you guys know, it's kind of the way the market's been lately. We um, pre-market, we pump the market up and then we immediately get some selling um, after we open. Well, that's another thing that happened here yesterday. We pushed up here into that bearish reversal zone early on in the day and then pulled back. So no harm, no foul here. This is just a little bit of a resting pullback here in the chart. Keeping in mind that SPY and QQQ were somewhat 
week on the day giving us that relief but if we can find some inspiration today in some of these earnings reports perhaps we can get this moving back to the upside and keeping in mind that um, um, we'll want to watch this area up in here as a resistance uh, area in the chart a little bit of overextension if those bulls find that inspiration and if the bears find inspiration well we know we certainly have a pretty substantial opening to the downside if they decide to get going but i gotta tell you i think volumes are going to be so light that um, it may be difficult for momentum to really pick up unless there's some kind of major news event that really inspires uh, bulls or bears. Then if we take a look at our T2108, T2108 just drifting sideways to down. Um, no major problem here. We still have significant support underneath um, this chart. So no major concerns here at the moment. 70% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average so we're trying to hang in we do want to keep in mind that even if we pop up there is a lot of resistance up in here very very strong markets um, that we don't have near the economic issues that we have now popping up into here um, receive those pullbacks so kind of keep that in mind and if we look at our t2107 t2107 much the same kind of drifting sideways here no particular worries 44 percent of the stocks above their 200 day we have some pretty good support in here if we pull back but once again in the short term we're pretty elevated here in um, uh, particularly the Dow and we'll want to watch that carefully um, we might be well, we might be just getting a little bit ahead of ourselves here in the market we'll see um, and then if we take a look at our T2101 T2101 um, whoops to get the right chart here t2101 continuing to show that that momentum has faded here just a little bit and i don't know that that could be all that much of a surprise considering the fact that volumes have been so low and and although we're going to get a surge this morning with activity kind of a flurry of of activity and tomorrow we'll get a flurry of activity around all the economic reports um coming out but just largely expect for those volumes to decline pretty quickly as the day goes on um, with that thought process of holiday um, on the way and traders taking off and traveling. Let's take a look at our um, uh, economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar, um, really not much going on here. As you can see, we've got Mester speaking today. There was a report out yesterday that she says she needs to see more reduction in inflation concerns before they back off on interest rates. Um, we've even heard one of the Fed members come out and say, hey, 75 basis points is still on um, on the table for discussion. So kind of keep that in mind. The markets rallied a lot, assuming that the Fed is going to back off. But who knows? Maybe they might not. Maybe it's a little bit less, like a 50 basis point increase. But we still have those pressures, and we certainly have those pressures on our consumer. Um, taking a look the rest of the day, not much going on here except some bond auctions. We got a two and a seven year money supply later on in the day, but I doubt that moves the market much at all. And then as you think about moving forward in this week, well, next uh, to Wednesday is going to be the big day of reports. We've got a durable goods, jobless claims, PMI, new home sales, petroleum status, consumer sentiment. We're going to pile it all in on one day. And then we're going to get FOMC minutes in the afternoon. So expect some volatility here. But um, at the same time, um, lot watch for those volumes to decline pretty quickly um, here in the market. Keeping in mind that as we slide toward the end of the day, Thursday we're closed and then Friday is just a partial day. Um, expect very, very light choppy volumes. Algorithmic trading will probably drive the market around just working to generate fees here on Friday uh, because there uh, could easily not be much of anything else going on. Um, if we take a look at our earnings calendar for today, we got a little bit going on in the earnings calendar. And just so everyone knows, I wrote a blog today, but it's a very brief blog. There's just 
you know, it's holiday. Um, not a whole lot to get overly concerned about here in the market. But let's take a look at some of these notables. So if I can't cover them all, but if you want to um, um, get the full list, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. As I mentioned, we're going to have kind of a flurry of um, 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 retail earnings reports. We've got ANF. Looks like ANF's trying to pop higher here this morning on their report. Um, we've got AEO going to report today. We're going to hear from Best Buy. We're going to get Burlington um, in those reports. Dick Sporting Goods will be reporting today. We're going to hear from um, Guess. Um, we've got uh, JWN Nordstrom's. Um, wish I could type. Um, they'll be reporting today. So quite a few of those. Now we do have a, a couple other things kind of out of that um, out of that area. We're going to hear from VMW. We're going to hear from ADSK. Um, so keep an eye on those and we've got an HPQ report as well today. So watch for a little bit of volatility around these reports. But again, just kind of plan on the fact that volumes are likely going to be light. You'll want to consider all these downtrends and resistance levels in the charts that we still see. We haven't quite been able to break out of some of those, so watch that careful. Then if we were to um, take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, but if you guys could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon that before you know as it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, please click that subscribe button and click that thumbs up button and click that bell icon um, and click those comments um, um, as you go through the video. That helps the channel to continue to, to grow. I, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone. You know, um, I never in my wildest dreams would have expected the work that I do to prepare my trading day and I just all I really do is share that with you guys and um, it takes quite a bit of effort to do that but I never in my wildest dreams would have expected um, this many folks to participate in it so thank you so much I, I do truly appreciate it and you'll you'll never know how much I actually appreciate each and every one of you for your support um, of the channel thank you you guys are are incredible let's take a look at a few stocks setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact I'm really going to encourage everyone to be thinking a little bit more about um, not doing any trading um, um, being a little bit careful on these low volume days um, uh, because and, and go enjoy your family I mean that's why we became traders right is for the freedom uh, for trading not to just press every single day and try to make you know something out of a low volume day um, let's take a look um, at a couple of trades now I've been watching this TTWO and I really think TTWO looks like a pretty decent short here um, in the market take two rallied up um, um, after a, a really bad earnings report we we've seen a lot of that recently um, where the earnings are bad we drop and then we immediately start buying it back up and we rallied up here into price resistance and we're starting to see that fade occurring here on TTWO I would look for maybe a double bottom or a higher low coming into play at a minimum um, you know pulling back and then maybe bouncing but if it starts getting ugly here in the market then we could see new lows as well so keep an eye on TTWO could be set up for a pretty decent short let's take a look at some other trades out there that are holding into pretty nice patterns and could be very bullish um, I like um, the way 3m is setting up here now you do want to recognize that we did slip out from underneath that upside trend it may just require this to spend a little bit more time kind of resting along consolidation here uh, before it gets um, its act together to decide whether it's going to move on up or 
or move down. But keep an eye on that. Good dividend payer could be something to pay attention to. Um, we've been talking about um, Arch Coal here in um, Right Way Options as an opportunity. Um, this is going to pay a special dividend coming up here on 1129 is your ex dividend date. And you can see we finally got a little bit of an inspiration here yesterday to move up. Um, here in Arch Coal. So keep an eye on that. This thing pays a, a huge dividend yield and um, might be worth thinking about. Now, also keep in mind, it's not out of the woods here um, for that upside move. We've got that downtrend going in. So there may not be a whole lot of upside in here. It may be more of a dividend play here to be watching for. Um, kind of keep an eye on some of these pay systems out there. Pay systems took a kind of a big hit yesterday. You can see we rallied in the visa right into this um, resistance level pulling back. So we have this big resistance level in the chart. We have this upside trend trying to go. We know that credit card debt is hitting new record highs and the consumer is very, very strained here. Let's watch that closely. If we were to reject and break this trend down, any rally back then I think would set up a opportunity short. If we hold this, this trend, hold around and bounce around in here, then we may work, actually work our way back up through that upside move. Just kind of be careful here. A lot of the pay systems um, are in interesting patterns, but a bit on the struggling side. Take a look at Block here. Block was one that had a really good earnings report, bounced up, and now we're selling it right back off. So I was looking for a little bit of price support to hold in here, and that just wasn't the case yesterday. We saw that selling break down um, in that chart. So before you look for a long in here, make that recover, that support proof to hold before you go long in a chart like that. Now that could still hold this trend, so there may be some opportunities here, but just be a little bit on the careful side. You know, when we look at some of our tech stocks out there, um, Tesla is one of those that obviously is uh, pretty, pretty damaged here in the chart, continuing to fall uh, pretty hard. I would suggest that at this point in time, if you're short this, you might want to be taking some profits on it and be watching for some kind of a bounce or a rally back up into some resistance into that chart for that next potential short. Um, could get a bounce here. Now, if we look at Amazon, Amazon has had that pullback occurring already. There's that big, you know, drop on the earnings report and that selling coming into play, layoff notices, and we get a rally back up. This might be setting up for a little bit of a lower high setup here. Now, keep in mind, this wouldn't be a um, huge upside opportunity, but there's been a lot of press. Oh my gosh, this is the time to buy Amazon, according to the, the talking heads out there. Well, maybe, but let's wait and see if they actually start buying here uh, before you get too excited on this chart. But if we can catch a little price support in here, then we would, you know, the first thing I would be worried about is some kind of a rally that might move us back up into their resistance level and the downtrend. So watch that closely. There may be some opportunities setting up in here and stocks that are way oversold and could perk back up. You might want to take a look at Google. Um, I think Google has the potential of being a short here. Um, obviously fell pretty darn hard, rallied right back up in this V bottom pattern. But notice we're struggling with this big price resistance in the chart. And um, I would watch that. I think there is that possibility that Google could move pretty substantially back down. So um, there's some mix here for, for today for you, some long trades, some short trades. Keeping in mind, you know, all across the, the spectrum, um, I'm seeing very low volume um, um, being registered in these charts, and it's likely to, to continue to diminish as we head toward the holiday. So just think about that. And by the way, you know, for all of the folks that travel, I want to wish you safe travels, but keep in mind that even as, even as we get through this week, well, a lot of folks will not be back yet. They're still going to be traveling back on Monday and Tuesday, extending their vacation. So it is possible we could have kind of light, choppy conditions in the market. 
for the beginning of next week as well so um, think about that carefully and make sure you're planning your trades with enough time um, on those positions um, to take advantage of um, that volatility loss that um, consolidating pattern that we're stuck in for a while here so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day thanks so much for listening today i do appreciate it you guys truly uh truly um humble me every single day with your kind words um and not just saying that i i, I really do appreciate it everyone take care be safe see you right back here bright and early wednesday morning and if you're heading out for the holiday i want to wish you all the best remember we became traders for the freedom of trading trading and not having to work your standard nine to five and um, hassle with the boss and all. So um, make sure you um, take advantage of that and enjoy your family and enjoy um, the holiday because, you know, <laughs> once it's gone, it's gone and um, we never get it back. And um, we're never going to be at the end of our life. Um, um, worried about how I didn't spend another holiday in front of my computer um, and uh, trying to pick out a trade or two uh, when we have uh, more important things like family around. So I want to wish you all the best. Take care. We'll see you bright and early Wednesday morning.